Hello my friends! So the method I'm about to show you will work on all kinds of woodworking projects. So it's not just limited on guitars. So take a look at this gorgeous looking curly wood figure. Beautiful, isn't it? Only it's fake. So in this video I'm going to show you how to go from a boring looking basswood body and a plain maple neck to this beautiful tiger stripe finish. Now other than the natural wood figure of for example a flamed maple top which is basically a curly wood grain, these tiger stripes are fake. But I think it's a great way to add more character to an otherwise boring looking piece of wood. So let me show you how it's done. I start by wrapping the guitar body and the neck with wire. And I make the spacing inconsistent so it will look more natural. Then I take a wheat burner and start burning the wood. The wire will shield the wood from the heat and hopefully this will create the tiger stripes I'm aiming for. Well, there you go, that's what I was hoping for. Now to add some color to the wood, I'm going to stain it. And therefore I like to use my homemade oil stain. The stain is a mixture of burnt umber pigments and boiled linseed oil. But pretty much any kind of stain or dye will be just fine. I apply the stain with a paper towel and then I take a fresh paper towel and take off the excess. Looks pretty cool, right? Now that the stain is cured, I finish the neck and body with a few coats of Danish oil. Well, that's all there is to it. Doesn't look so boring anymore, right?